All right, guys, so today I'm going to be uh, doing this really cool card trick, but before, you know, obviously I do that, I want to say something. So um, the other day I actually uploaded my Fortnite live stream, and it looks like the views are just super polarized on it. Like some people either really like it or really hate it. So, you know, I only really did that so on the live stream I could just talk to you guys, you know, back to back. Um, you don't have to wait for a comment. It's a lot easier to actually, you know, interact with you guys. So if you guys want me to make a separate channel just for that, I can just so like my hardcore subscribers could watch me over there and the card trick people wouldn't be bothered. So put down in the comments what you guys want to see. Anyways, here is the actual trick. All right, so the best part about this trick is that you don't even have to shuffle up the deck only because you're looking for a few specific cards. So you go through, you're looking for the two red kings as well as the ace of spades. So you show your spectators, you have the king, the ace, the king, and the ace. Now what you want to do is tell them to pay attention to the ace of spades because that's the card that's pretty much going to be doing all the tricks here. So you take the ace of spades and you, what you want to do is leave this face down in between the two red kings. So you want to make sure you can get it in between those two cards. And just like this guys, all you have to do is shake the cards a little bit and you guys will see the ace of spades actually reverses itself. So we can do something else with the same card as well. So you take your ace of spades and what you want to do is leave it once again back in the middle in between these two cards and just like that guys we're going to put this right back in the middle but this time it's going to do something a little different if you just go ahead and shake the cards you should see that the card actually changes color so this is a trick and if you guys want to do it do not forget to stick around for the all right so i hope you guys all like the trick um this is how you're going to be able to do it so what you want to do is obviously you're going to need a uh, different colored back for the ace of spades and then the uh the other colors doesn't really matter so you can take whatever color you take two decks just make sure the ace of spades is the only card that's different and then you can take out whatever oh, not there you need to take out whatever contrasting cards you want so you can use kings queens jacks whatever you want and what you're going to do is put the first card so this is a black one this is going to be the king of diamonds then you take your ace of spades you put that here and the other king there so this is your setup for the trick and like I said before, guys, you don't have to shuffle the cards only because you are going to go through them face up anyway. So it doesn't really make a big difference whether or not you shuffle the cards. And if you're spreading them, what you can do is show the spectators you can spread like this and then, you know, spread a big chunk in the middle. So you don't want to just spread the cards out like this and then flash the red card. So what you can do is as you're casually talking to spectators, you can spread the cards out. And since you know the ace is in the middle, you block push a whole bunch off and then you can keep going. So that's just a little tidbit of uh, you know performance you know if you want to you can make it look like there's no red cards or whatever you really enforce the whole black color here so like I said you can do that if not whatever you just go through and you can just go look for the cards here you take the king and you tell your spectators you know you don't have to shuffle the cards because you're only looking for a few specific ones anyway so you take the cards out this is the, these are the three cards you need now from here what you're gonna do is you're gonna show the spectators uh, that you have three black cards so you can flash the back here once just real casually and this is in middle grip so your thumbs at the bottom your rings at the top you peel the top card off which is a king so you say look I have a king and you can flash both of the backs again this is going to be black and this black card is the king you flip it back over you pass over the ace you can flip it again if you want you don't have to but Essentially, it makes it look like there's three black cards. And then what you want to do is you want to tell your spectators, all right, so you want to keep your eye on the ace. And what you can do is you can move it to the top just real casually. It doesn't really make a big deal. You're just kind of emphasizing the ace here. And then as the ace is on top, what you can do is get a pinky break at the bottom just by pushing down the corner here with your thumb, the top left, and that's going to cause a nice bend. It's going to be really easy to get a double lift. And all you do is you do a double lift here, moving the ace and a king. Ace, you say, all right, so I want to take the ace and then what you're going to do is as the cards are face down like this, you're going to come over with your index finger, grab just the top card, and peel the bottom of the deck away. That way they don't see this red card here. So you have it here like this. You peel the deck away, and that way they're not going to catch that the glimpse of the red card. So from here, this is what your setup looks like in your left hand. The card should look somewhat like this. So you have a middle grip, kind of a, a reverse middle grip. So it's kind of face up to your thumbs here and your middle fingers here. And what you want to do is, this is very important, you take your index finger and that's going to be resting on the bottom of this packet. So essentially what happens is when you're putting the ace in the middle, this is really a king, and you're not putting that king in the actual middle of the cards like that. What you're doing is you're making it look like you're putting it in there, and you're just putting it on the very bottom of that packet. So you're not putting it in the middle, you're putting it here. And when you push it through, you can kind of just put your index finger right on the card, so like that. So your index finger is holding that card up 
like this. And now what you can do is push it in as your index finger is actually holding that card. So this is what it looks like. And from here, what you want to do is you're going to pretty much by shaking the cards, you're going to be masking this movement. Okay, so essentially you're just flipping or twisting the card. So I'll kind of redo that. And the card goes back in the middle. You have it, you know, sandwiched with your index finger here. You can come over to the edge. So since the cards are going to look like this to you, you come over to the bottom right hand corner and your thumb kind of goes a little bit in this corner piece. And you have your two fingers, your index and your middle. And all you're doing is kind of like this spinning motion. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. The cards look like this. And all you want to do is pretty much just spin the cards like that. So from face, that's what it looks like from the other side. So essentially, it should look like this card is just flipping over. And you'll see, you'll get it once you just kind of twist the cards around a little bit. You'll kind of understand more of like what the movement feels like. But essentially, you're just twisting the cards. So you have the cards back in this position. You're, all you have to do is just move your index finger backwards and your middle finger towards something. So middle finger goes forward, index finger pulls back, and this is pretty much your setup, and you're doing that under the guise of shaking the cards. So essentially, this would be your setup here. All you do is you take the ace out, you flip these cards face down or face up, you put the ace back on top, and again, what you're going to do is you say, all right, so I'm going to try to do something, or I'm going to try to do one more thing using this ace of spades. All you have to do is a, is a glide move. So what, what that means is as you're twisting the cards down, you're also pulling. So it makes it easier if the cards have a little, little uh, forward bend like this makes it a lot easier to actually slide just the ace of spades down. So the cards like this, you don't want them to be necessarily flat because then you could also move down that second king. So you want to make sure the deck is a little bent. You pull that card down as you're twisting your hands and you're grabbing the middle king. So essentially so it looks like from the bottom you're grabbing the middle king now. All right, so this is coming out. You square this up with your index finger. You put this back up into that reverse middle grip and then again, you slide the card in the middle and you do the same exact thing. You shake the cards around, you do your little twist, and the card is going to flip itself over. And from here, this is pretty much the trick. You don't really have any, um, any weird setup or anything. You have to hide from the spectators. They can inspect everything. This is just really a red card. And that is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching. She's a literal vampire.